What's up guys? We're back out in the kayak again. We got our crab pots up here. We're gonna go drop that down in the water. Ooh, got some nice marks there. I don't know what that is. Anyways, we're gonna be doing some crabbing and some fishing today. Similar to our last video. But uh, this time we're fishing with Matt's from Fisherman's Life. So shout out to him. I'm gonna go drop out, drop this crab pot first. That crab pot right there. We're heading to the same spot that I dropped it last time. Hopefully, we'll get some good crab. And then, while that's soaking, we're going to be doing some fishing. And uh, hopefully it goes a little bit better than our last trip on the fishing side of things. So, stay tuned. It's going to be an epic day here. Oh, and one more thing. We're hoping to do a catch and cook. Stay tuned. guys we're actually uh, looking for the same spot that I dropped my pot at last time we had pretty good luck there so I'm gonna try to get back on that spot looks like we're coming up on it right here I didn't get any bait this time so we just got chicken out here but I think we should be okay it looks like it looked like they were chomping on the chicken last time anyway so we're gonna drop this down here and uh, hope for the best here goes nothing. Now when we're fishing for a dungeon scrub, we're looking for a sandy bottom. So one thing I like to do when it hits the bottom is kind of feel around. Yeah, it feels pretty sandy. So we should be in a good spot there. So for the best, now we can go do, go do some fishing. We just gotta find out where uh, Fisherman's Life went. There we go, fish on. What we got here? Oh, little baby lingcod. There's our first fish. Fish number one. It's a little baby lingcod. All right, there's our first fish on that swim bait. Definitely not what we're looking for today. We're looking for something about. 10 times the size, but it's not too bad. First fish in about five minutes of fishing, so we'll take it. Let's get a good release on this guy. Ooh. He definitely wanted to go. It's a good start. Hopefully a sign of things to come since last time we didn't even get one link cod, so. Already doing better than last time. Fish on. Let's see what we got this time. Feels like another small link cod, but let's see what we got here. Yep. There's a little link cod there. Hey, it's a little bit bigger than the last one. We're turning in the right direction. Oh, this guy's got some teeth marks right here. He's had a rough life. All right. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. This guy's freaking out. Relax, relax. Relax, all right, all right. Get it. I'm not gonna keep you anyway, You're too small. All right, there's our second fish. Like I said, not the giants that we're looking for, but those are to come. This is the link cod for the future. Look at those teeth in there. Come on. You were going crazy, now you're not gonna do anything? There it goes. All right, so all we're doing here is we're just Giving this swim bait a little toss out, let it sink to the bottom, and then just reeling it along the bottom there. And these lingcod, they don't swim too far. I heard a, a study that 
these lingcod, they only swim like eight feet per day on average, something like that. So they're not active feeders. They're just sitting there kind of waiting for something to swim by. And uh, so when this link, this swim bait hits the bottom, we just kind of slowly reel it along the bottom. Once you think it's a little bit too high, you just drop it back down. Until it hits the bottom again. And then just slowly reeling it along the bottom. That's how we've been catching those link cod. Still on it. There we go, we got him. Another little one there. Oh God, this one feels even smaller. Yep. Well, we're in the nursery here. At least some action though. Nothing too huge. Alright, here's our third fish. Well, if we added them all together, we'd have a decent fish, but uh, I guess it doesn't work that way. So, we'll keep at it. Hopefully, we get something a little bit bigger. So Matt's is headed in. He uh, got his field for the day. He actually got two nice calves there. And uh, I'm gonna stay out here a little longer. Try and get at least something to keep. Either keep her link cut or if I get a cab like he did, that'd be nice. But uh, keep throwing this swim bait here and hopefully we can't hook a big one. Fish on, yet again. Feels like another link cut. We've yet to get one that can pull some drag, but uh, hey, we're getting some constant action. This one actually feels not too bad. It might be our biggest one so far. It's pulling a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's a cabbie. Nice. Well, this might be the one that a uh, old Matt's let go. It's a nice blue cabbie there. It's a nice, oh, it's a nice fish right there. Nice blue meat. It's kind of funny these fish when you cook them up, or actually when you clean them, the blue the meat is blue, but then when you cook them up, the uh, meat turns to a nice fishy white color. Let's see how long this guy is. about 17 inches so the legal size on cabazon here in california is 15 inches so this guy's more than worthy of the keeper fish we're gonna go ahead and toss him in the ice chest here we're still not getting anything of any great size but maybe we'll uh Switch up this swim bait something a little bit bigger, bigger profile, maybe a bigger fish. Uh, if we don't get anything bigger in the next few casts here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's a better link cod. Oh, he's gonna take off. There he goes. That's definitely a better one. That was definitely a keeper. Let's get our gaff here. There we go. That's what we've been looking for right there. That's a quality link cod. You just inhaled that swim bait.
All right. Oh. oh. There he goes. Guess we're not keeping that one. That's all right. He wasn't that. He wasn't a monster. We uh, did pretty well on the link cod. Nothing to keep. Well, actually, one to keep that I uh, flubbed up and threw it back. But uh, plenty of action. I caught at least 10. A few that I didn't put on camera as well, just because you know, you've seen one link cod, you've seen them all. But now we're going to pull up this crab pot and uh, hopefully it's going to have some crab in it. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, we got a few in there. A few decent ones, some keepers. Hopefully. Save you the pain of having to watch you measure them all, but most of them were pretty, were a little bit too small. Some just barely, you know, like a millimeter too short. But we did get one keeper here to go with our rockfish and cabby. So that's going to be it for us today. Hopefully, try not to get. Almost got me there. <laughs> That's gonna be it for us today. There's our one keeper and our cabbie and a rock, nice rockfish. Uh, Matt's already headed in, so I'm gonna follow him in and uh, we're gonna cook up one of these fish at least. The catch and cook, right in there. So here's that cap zone that we caught earlier. If you haven't seen these before, they have a blue skin to it and the meat on it is pretty interesting. It's also a bluish color to it. But uh, as you cook it, it turns back to a normal fish color. You can see here on the bottom, um, it's cooking as it, whereas the top is still raw. That's why it's still blue on the top and then white on the bottom. Uh, Matt, he also caught a cap zone. So you can see it there with the blue skin and the blue meat on it. Um, he cooked it up, his uh, signature butter and uh, you can see mine here uh, cooked on the grill. Uh, it's got a normal fish color once it's cooked. So we cooked those both up and they were both yummy, especially after a long day out in the water. So if you haven't seen his channel, make sure you check it out. He actually caught two of those cabs on. I'll leave a link in the description below from his video from this day. Uh, especially if you're into the catch and cook style videos, he's definitely the king of those out here. Um, a lot of good videos, a lot of great content coming out from his channel. So make sure you check him out. I'll link in the description below. Hope to do more collabs with uh, Fisherman's Life in 2018. So uh, leave a comment below what you think our next fishing adventure should be. Uh, that's it for now. We'll catch you next time.